Yay, you finally have a day Vicky. off, kind of, Vicky. Um, Hello, well, Uriah Hambrick. Hold on, I have a call from Hello, Tampa, Kobe Florida. Swish. You have a call? Ooh, could be telemarketer Hello. time. Hey, J Moth. Google. Oh, Google. We're good, Don. Should we, uh, what's up, Taxi Surrell? getting transferred to an account specialist. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, Q. Hi, Q. Oh, funny guy Don has a... No, it's one of these It's one of these fake Google calls. Exactly, Son Cop. It's a fake Google call. But we're putting them on, all right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Chris, stop it. But when you buy a website, boom, Google calls. I know, right? Poor bastard. Exactly. Oh, we're going to prank them. If they answer, why would they transfer? Why would they call so us, stupid. transfer us, and then not answer? They're calling us, and they don't even answer the phone. So stupid. They are. They're scared. They are. They're totally trolling. Hey, GR Hand. So weird. Nobody home. <laughs> Nobody, Nobody home. home. My first name is Jack. Hey, Jack, how you doing today, sir? I'm great. How you doing? I'm doing all right, sir. Thank you for asking. Uh, now, Jack, is this your main business phone number, sir, or do you have an alternate? Um, th no, this is the main one, yeah. Okay, what's the name of your business? I'm not pulling up a business doing a, um, or I'm not pulling up business doing a search of the number. Oh, it's um Springfield Peppers. Yep. And that's based out of Pontiac, Michigan? Yes. Okay, and what are your two main services that you offer? Um, we offer uh, mainly red peppers and sometimes green peppers. Those are probably the two main ones. Okay, now, what type of, uh, what type of marketing do you do now? Right now, we um, we we actually we go up to like some of the strip centers, and we just like set up on the sidewalk with chopped up peppers, red peppers and green peppers, and um, and when people walk by, we just kind of like ask them if they'd like to try a pepper, and if they don't like peppers, oh, okay, so... go ahead. Okay, now. Yeah, pretty much. We're not really in it to make any money. Okay. Well, I mean, I could put you on the do not call list if this is something that it doesn't, uh, you know, it's not suitable for your business if you don't think so. I, I mean, well, I don't know. What are we talking about here? I mean, I can get you visible in your, I mean, so when someone is searching for your services, I mean, you can count on Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Do you think that people, I, I mean, well, so do you think this would help me? Like, do you think that people... Would people be, do people typically search for peppers on Google? He hung up. He hung up? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's volunteering to put us on the block list. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. <laughs> he totally wussed out. Springfield Peppers. <laughs> Isn't that a great? Isn't that a great business model? Go up to strip malls with a desk and set up on the sidewalk with a bunch of. We're not really in it to make money. <laughs> We're not really in it to make money. We're just trying to give people pepper samples. How does that shit come out of my head? I just totally made that up on the floor. <laughs> Oh, we, do. I, we do need a pepper. I was noodle. dying. I was I was reading all the comments. Oh. I did. I kept a good poker face. You did so good. We've got like three great telemarketing calls in a row. I'm gonna put them. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna record just the telemarketing calls, and I'm gonna put them in a separate playlist on our YouTube channel. 
just of the telemarketing pranks so we can all enjoy them. I'm going to re- 